Hello everyone, Wayne from the CERN and Earth and Space Center here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what we can find in our skies during the month of September. So without any further ado, let's jump right into our sky simulator software and take a look at what we can find out there. Well, here we are, standing in front of the CERN and Earth and Space Center at Triton College in River Grove, Illinois, just outside the city of Chicago. We have our date set for September 15th, so right in the middle of the month, and our time is set for 9 o'clock in the evening. Now, that's about two hours after the sun sets, which is the best time to go out because that's when the sky is going to be nice and dark, and you'll be able to see all of the stars out there. Now, if we take a look around, we're looking towards the west right now, just over the Cernan Center here. Still up high in the horizon, just still visible, we can see the bright star Arcturus, which is part of the constellation of Boötes the Herdsman, the shepherd in the sky, who we can see here. Boötes is very much a summertime constellation, so you're only going to be able to see Arcturus and Boötes for maybe another week or so before they set below the horizon and disappear from view. Now, as we pan our way across the sky, we will see some more familiar summertime groups of stars. Here we see Sagittarius, the Archer, uh, just towards the south-southwest, again moving across the sky. Not going to be visible for too much longer. And a little bit higher up, almost directly overhead, we will see the three bright stars of our summer triangle. So we have Altair and Aquila the Eagle. We have Vega in Lyra the Harp, and we have Deneb in Cygnus the Swan. So those will still be visible for quite a while. You'll have into the autumn to be able to see those, but they are moving towards the west, which means coming up in the east, we have some summertime or some fall stars for us to look at. Some of our autumn stars are going to start to become visible, and some of the most recognizable of those are going to be these four right here, which make up this great big square, we call that the Great Square of Pegasus, the Flying Horse. Let me bring up the artwork for Pegasus. There we go. So you can see that nice big flying horse. That square is going to be coming up out of the east-southeast and will be visible throughout the night. And as we get deeper into the autumn, it will become more and more visible as well. So you'll see that great big square pretty easily tonight. You'll also notice there are a couple other bright objects here, a little bit lower towards the horizon, and those are actually going to be planets that are visible. Let me bring up our planet labels here. So we can see Saturn and Jupiter at about 9 o'clock in the evening on September 15th. So you'll have a couple planets that you can see. Now, with the naked eye, they will just look like very bright stars. Jupiter will be much brighter than Saturn, but both of them will be very visible. If you have a telescope, definitely take a look at one or both of those objects. Uh, you will see some fantastic things. With Saturn, you will be able to see its beautiful rings. And with Jupiter, you'll probably be able to see a few of its moons, maybe two or three, possibly four of the Galilean moons. So definitely take a look at those, even if you have just a really good set of binoculars. If you have a really good telescope, you might even be able to see some of the atmospheric features of either of those planets. So that's what the sky is going to look like at about 9 o'clock in the evening. Those will be some of the brightest stars and objects that you'll be able to find out there. If you stay up a little bit later, you might be able to catch a glimpse of Mars in the sky as well. Let's fast forward time a little bit, and we'll see that as it gets later in the evening, Mars begins to rise up close to the moon out of the east. Um, but that's going to be about 1 o'clock in the morning. So you might want to wait another month or two to be able to see Mars in the early evening instead of having to wake up at 1 o'clock to be able to see it. And we'll be talking about that in our later on videos. Over October and November videos, you'll be able to see all three of those planets very easily in the nighttime sky. Well, thank you everyone for taking a look at the sky with me today. Again, my name is Wayne from the CERN and Earth and Space Center. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you get a chance, come out and see us here at our planetarium and small museum. We would love to have you in the building learning about space with us. But if you can't do that, that's okay. Keep watching our videos. And remember, the most important thing is to get out there and take a look at your nighttime skies.